Yeah, we're in here at the uh, service course of uh, Team Sky for the second phase of new Dura Ace uh, 9000 series. Now we are commencing the test phase with the uh, DI2 parts, the electric uh, shifting interface. And uh, as you can see on the bikes here, we are uh, redoing the bikes that we have been testing with a mechanical shifting interface with DI2, rear derailleur, front derailleur and shift levers. The reason why we started uh, with uh, mechanical first is because uh, it's not two different groups, it's the shifting interface. You can only have a good electronical group set if it's based on a good mechanical platform. We are going to test these new group sets, the first in the Tour of Poland with three riders. And uh, if uh, that goes well, we will go uh, to the Vuelta with more group sets uh, to, uh, to test on a larger scale in the peloton. You can see there are CNC machine prototypes, so that is always the first step. So we know that the products function well, and uh, after that's done, you will see in the Vuelta more final appearance uh, samples that are already pre-production. But there uh, was no ghost shifting and uh, was uh, pretty good. So with the sprint button, so it was pretty, pretty good shifting here. Mm -hmm. uh, the multiple shift is really nice. When you get a little practice, I'm pretty sure it's uh, okay. very, very more easy. More used to. More yeah. Okay. So it's. But normally, you can imagine that uh, in the race, this function will will be used. Yes. Yeah. If you go around the corner and okay. and. Uh, you and don't need to do that. Uh, yeah. Use it many times. Yeah. yeah. You just hold the button when you know you have to slow down and, and stop start. just had it this week so I've only had it for four days a um, few extra gears um, and especially here in Poland we've got some really hilly stages so it's pretty easy to make sure you've got every gear you could possibly need the reason we're testing the new 11 speed bike here actually part of the reason is because the roads here are a bit more challenging than the rest of Europe so it means there's a lot of, let's say, not so good roads with a lot of vibration on the derailleur and the chain is stressed more with all the sand here. So we have to pay more attention to every detail in this race than, for instance, in France, where the roads are better. The ergonomics of the, the, um, the grips being a lot smaller as well makes it I feel a lot more secure, especially the roads here in Poland are quite rough, so uh, I'm always conscious of my hands bouncing off the handlebars, but it's easy, it's a lot easier to hold on to the handlebars. And it might sound like a simple thing, but it's really important. The fact that you can hold down the, uh, hold down the shifter and it will go through the gears sort of automatically is, I think, really good. You know, you get to the crest of a hill and you want to accelerate and quite often you're sort of pressing the buttons quite quickly but here you can just hold it down you don't have to think about it it's a lot easier and I've played around quite a lot with um, how fast I want the gears to shift as well and I know with um, myself Ian and Matt here we've all got different settings as to how like our own preferences so it's really I think that shows how important it is because every rider's preference is different. Yeah, no, it worked perfect, you know, um, worked really well and on the downhill with the multi-shift, went over the top of the climb, just held the button down and into the 11 and off I went down the hill, so yeah, no, it was really nice and it was good to give it a good workout and see how it works and yeah, it was flawless for a prototype as well, it was 
it's brilliant and uh, looking forward to getting the actual working product and racing on it next year. It's a massive improvement and it's really fast, really smooth. Yeah, just what we're looking for. Something about the spring and the brakes on these ones. Um, I'm not sure of the whole mechanics of it.